Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have today from Gun of the Origin is the high grade heavy Gundam. Now I will just automatically say this kit is fantastic. I mentioned this in the, in the review, uh, but for the pose video, I just want to go ahead and reiterate that this kit just exceeds all like my expectations when it comes to high grades. Um, I'm a firm believer. I think this is quite possibly the greatest RX-78 variant uh, in any form. All right, guys, so you know the deal uh, with the pose videos. Pretty much, we're going to do three different poses, and uh, I'm just going to go run through each different pose and kind of give you uh, what my inspiration was for them. And then hopefully, you can go ahead and uh, draw some inspiration from these poses. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. Okay, and here is the pose. Um, so I, I kind of want to keep this simplistic, to be honest. Um, I, I really love like kind of standard standing poses, um, and you could add a little dynamic kind of uh, flair to it if you really want. Um, but a lot of times, I don't have space uh, for my shelves to you know put every single kit in a very dynamic pose. Uh, but something like this is still going to kind of like conserve space. I'm, you know, I'm not using a stand or anything. And I think it still looks good. It's kind of just more um, him kind of getting ready to go ahead and prepare for battle. Um, you know, just some kind of like really cool dynamic pose, uh, especially with spreading the feet like that, uh, kind of like offset a little bit. Um, and I just, I love, I love, love the articulation of the ankles and legs on this kit. Uh, the waist is fantastic. I mean, the only thing that's kind of like not 100% like completely revolutionary is going to be like the, uh, the arms. Um, Pretty much for the most part, the arms are, are, are fairly standard. I would just say the shoulder joint is probably a little bit more um, dynamic uh, as far as articulation than most uh, kits as, as far as the high grade line. Uh, but just the ankles, like the ankle skirts being on their own individual kind of sections, unlike the like uh, North American type or the FSD, uh, that's pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, so overall, I mean, this kit is, is great, uh, you know, especially with these little, you know, minor poses. Um, but overall, I think it looks great. So let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. All right, and here is the second pose. Um, so all, I didn't really do anything too crazy, um, but if a kit has a beam saber or any kind of bladed weapon, I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Just that's, that's my opinion, honestly. Um, so I went ahead and used the beam saber. Uh, off screen, I went ahead and bent it up a little bit, just kind of, uh, you know, have it like that actual like whooshing sound. Um, that's just kind of like the, the way I like it. Um, you know, it's your personal preference if you like to keep it, you know, straight beam saber, that's cool. Uh, but usually when I have like slashing kind of poses, I, I want to go ahead and kind of make it more, I don't want to say realistic, uh, but more kind of like, you know, it's it's more, it's, it's more realism in all honesty. Um, but yeah, I definitely like beam saber type poses. Um, usually kind of the dash, the dashing ones are my favorite. Uh, slashing ones are really good. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like where I was going with this. I was like, I got to utilize that beam saber some way, shape or form. Um, regardless if the mobile suit, you know, usually uses the uh, beam saber. If not, then cool. Um, if so, then awesome. Um, but whatever, uh, I think I think it's a pretty good pose. Um, you know, definitely take advantage of as many weapons of you know that it has, uh, even though it only has about like four different types of weapons. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the third and final pose. Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Um, so essentially what I want to recreate is kind of like a space battle. Um, so I really like this. Uh, I definitely utilized the rocks to my advantage. I kind of wish it was a little bit uh, easier to go ahead and plug these rocks into stands. Um, so that way I can kind of have more of the uh, the rocks floating around. Um, but they don't really plug into these stands. So I just have to utilize like the little, um, kind of like the little hook 
part, like the little grabber. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, doing a space diorama with this, I think would be really fantastic. Uh, it just looks like a space type suit in, in all honesty, in my opinion, because it's pretty heavy. And I think it being on um, a, a grab, um, like a gravity bound uh, land, uh, would just kind of hinder it in my in my opinion. I think it would be way too sluggish. Uh, but it being in space definitely can uh, you know have a little bit more mobility uh, while accompanying that you know heavy firepower. Uh, but overall, I think it looks pretty fantastic. You can definitely pose it however you want. Um, but I, I do hope you kind of draw some inspiration uh, from you know these poses. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'm really happy to do another pose video. Um, I do have a review that's going to be coming up very very soon. Uh, but other than that, you know, definitely just taking this week uh, one day at a time and trying to get these uh, videos out as fast as I can. Um, you know, at least just one video a day is definitely good enough for me, uh, and I hope it's really good enough uh, for you, all of you. But if you do like these uh, these poses, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, let me know if you would have done anything different, maybe a different type of pose, or um, maybe something that like a po like one of these poses could have done really well for maybe another kid. Um, and as always, you know, definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoy these videos and also the content I create. Uh, but other than that, guys, definitely thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.